All right, guys. It's been about four, no, six days. Six days, six days, I can't count. Six days. Been sick, been sore. No excuses now. Today we're gonna be hitting lower body legs. So we're going to start off with squats. So be ready, tie your shoes up, lace them up, get ready for this. Enjoy, I will see you at the first workout. start you guys off with accessory movement go for those quads um, grab a Smith machine weight that you can do 10 to 15 reps at the most so not too heavy everybody's on the squat racks right now so improvise I hate the people that will sit and wait you can be doing something and working at this moment so grab a Smith machine you're gonna get it set up in a formation like you're gonna be doing a lunge Just like that, so it's not a rush. You're not going down as quick as you would go down to a normal lunge. Um, you want to keep that constant tension, and as you see, I have a bench. That's gonna add extra tension to your quad. So make sure the bench, you have to turn it sideways because it doesn't fit inside this mid You may have to do that, work with it. But you wanna go down to where your knee is barely touching the ground, that back leg. And you're gonna explode up, explode up with the leg that's on top of the bench. Work on those explosive. Just like that. Now we're gonna perform about three sets of that. Like I see, you only have lightweight up there, so it's nothing to worry, you're struggling. You wanna be able to go through the reps smoothly, but challenge yourself. So give that a try. We're gonna finish up with this, and hopefully there'll be a squat rack up so we can get that next, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, finally got a squat rack. What we're gonna be working today is six and six. We're gonna be going up weight every set. So let's go. Especially ladies, if you want those glutes, Guys, too, when you get to the stop, squeeze. Squeeze those cheeks like you're trying to hold something with them. <laughs> squeeze that shit. There's so many people in the gym today. Some days, I don't know about your gym, but some days when it is packed, I always try to do the opposite. I'll be switching my work up. I'll work out at the last second. Everybody's doing bench, I'll be doing legs. When everybody's doing legs, I'm doing bench. So try to determine how your gym is. Everybody knows what days it's packed and what days it's not. And put your big days where you really got to concentrate. And you may be holding up in a rack for a little bit while longer, but plan for it. Third set. Check, not count today, third set. <laughs>
A little rusty today. A little rusty. <laughs> Why do you hate when you take it? I hate when I take so many days off, bro. I feel like I lose my gains. I feel so small today, so weak. I don't recommend ever taking a day off. <laughs> Something just happened. That game. That college basketball game. Uh, I thought somebody PR'd at the smoothie bar. <laughs> You just need a spotter, be smart and get a spotter. Don't let your ego and the weight make you better. Today is not my day. I'm not my strongest, so when you feel in doubt, just grab somebody. Safety first, kid. some of those days I don't I don't mind at all it's not a race race for first play it smart I already had this hamstring injury for months now and I'm not trying to get injured anymore so you know, there maybe people that lift more in the gym that day go right ahead it's a marathon not a sprint through it and grind through it so you gotta train yourself to do that. Um, let's get started. The other two sets I did, I'm on my, what is it, our fifth set? Yeah. Fifth set. Starting to burn. Grip on something tight. One more. 
actual extension when you're at the top and contraction in your quad. Feet, you want to make sure as you're coming up, I usually try to hold it for about a second and keep those toes pointed back towards you. That's what's going to add that extra contraction on them quads. Them quads. Let them shorts on. I'll be seeing them quads popping right now. They in there. They'll be back. All right, second set. We're doing a drop set. One thing I forgot to mention, the last one, the reason why you want to have this go back as far is you don't want to reset after each one. You want to keep that constant tension. So I usually stop about here. But you still want this to be able to push you. You want that force pushing back towards your legs. So you're kind of fighting it and keeping that constant tension on the quads. But we're gonna do a drop set on this one, so. a lot of people that put on a bunch of weight and, and bounce. That is not going to build your calves because right there you're doing a lot more in your legs, quads, than you are in your actual calves. So the key is to slow. Slow. Like Chris Jones says, that's a plug. Like Chris Jones said, you gotta make that sweet Sweet love to them weights. We're not here to bang the weights right now. Make that sweet, sweet love. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do 21s. First position is gonna be here with the feet. Seven. Seven reps. You're gonna poke the toys, toes, toys. <laughs> toes towards each other seven times. In the hill seven times. should have some walkers <laughs> for people who take leg day seriously. You shouldn't be able to walk your ass out of here. Get on one of them walkers, them little, them little Walmart speed racers. <laughs> and take it straight to your car. And don't park that shit next to my car. <laughs> All right guys, we are done leg day. Like I said, this is going to be more of the beginner, the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I said adjust the weight to what's easier for you um, and give that a try. We'll be putting some more uh, content up here pretty soon in another uh, series. So subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace!